London's tech companies seem to be leading the way when it comes to the new biometric technology that can be used instead of cash, would you believe? Areas being tested include using facial recognition, your fingerprints and even vein structure to pay for goods and services. Tolu Adoye has been to Camden to find out more. We're here at Proud and Camden to see the launch of a new way to pay. We already know we're using cash less, we're using contactless cards more, as well as our mobiles. And now we're going to be using our fingers. And I'm joined now by Simon Binge from FingoPay, who's going to tell us how it all works. Okay, so FingoPay is live here at Proud. Uh, as a customer, you, you turn up, uh, you register, open a FingoPay account, link your credit card details to your finger vein, um, and then you're good to go. And is this kind of technology starting to catch on? Are we going to see this um, in more shops and places around? Yeah, you will. Uh, our early tests have been incredibly positive. Customers much prefer they have no cash, they have, don't have to carry lots of cards around, don't have to have a phone. It's very secure. We use Vein ID technology, which is more secure than fingerprint. We store that match. It's encrypted on cloud. Uh, no one can intercept it, and it's useless data if they can. So Lovely, and we're going to have a quick demonstration. We've got Hal, who's going to... Come in now, just show us how this works. Okay, so um, I'm just at the bar, I'm going to order a drink. Have a, a bottle of water, please, Hal. Finger pay has been pressed on the till. Uh, it's asking me to scan my finger, so I put my finger in. Scanning my finger takes about a second to scan the finger. Transaction's gone through, payment successful. Lovely, thank you. So you could be seeing machines like these in shops, restaurants, and bars in the future. Tolu Adoye there on some amazing technology de being developed right here in London. You can see more on that uh, on our early evening news at 6.30 tonight on BBC One. But now let's get the weather forecast with Kate.